Hey guys, today is June 14th and I need a little bit of help. This beautiful speckled head of lettuce, I need to know what this is. This came as a free trial pack in a blend and I need to know what it is. So if any of you are out there and you know for sure what this is, not a guess, you've grown it, you've got the seeds at home, you have experience with it, please comment and tell me what this is. Um, I am gonna go ahead and pick this. It's with this eggplant, which needs way more uh, airflow. And what this is, is I got this from Jung's, and I think they called it a butter blend. Here we go. All right, I started this in these cardboard egg cartons, and it was labeled, yes, as a lettuce butter blend. So that's why I'm having trouble identifying this. I found some other speckled um, lettuces, but I'm not for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick this. And before I do that, I wanna give you a quick little tour of the rest of the lettuce. Again, is the all year round doing much better, much bigger. Okay, so now you can see where I have the majority of the lettuce at. This is kind of a part shade, part sun. By three o'clock, this is in all shade. And I ran some experiments. I grew some pine tree lettuce in here. I have the seeds for that. That's also a blend. They don't tell you everything that's in there, but that is a, and the, this is all loose leaf. It does not make a head or a rosette. And you can see here that this is really starting to make a rosette for us, a nice loose. Let's see, it's beginning upright. You can just hear that little snap to the side. Okay, so I am going to pick this whole entire head because it's supposed to be about almost 100. And I don't think that this lettuce will come back not bitter. Plus, the eggplant, I already told you, it needs the room. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the whole entire thing out of here, which there's more than one head in here. Okay, there we go. I've got the root. Look at how much that was taking up. That is pretty huge. Let me just lay this on the ground real quick. God, that is a lot of lettuce. It's enough to make a big salad. Let me check this one out while I'm over here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this one too because it might go bitter. And I don't want to keep disrupting this eggplant, which is really the focus of this pot here. This was just a filler. I'm going to take it off. And we're going to have a really big salad tomorrow. And there we go. Look at all that. And I'm going to take these little leaves and I'm just going to bury those. Because they're going to like that. And then I have a little bucket of soil down here and I'm just gonna fill that in and that's gonna be good so let's get another better look at this if you guys know what this is please let me know hey check out my Etsy store t-shirt garden company I will leave it in the description box below Okay guys, now we are back in the house and I it, it's actually two days later now. And I went ahead and washed everything, cleaned everything, cut it up, put it in a very large salad spinner. This is the OXO Good Grip stuff. And if you just look at the leaves real quick, because I tried to do some research here Okay, so this is what this actually is. 
This is from Jung's, I believe. Yeah, Jung Seeds. This was free with my order, and it is the Lettuce Butter Blend. And pretty much what it says here is the same thing that's in the catalog, except it does give a little bit more information. So let's read right from here. Let me get zoomed in here. Okay. So 33 to 60 days, a buttery and yet crunchy, a true garden delight. Quite easy to grow, the plants form loose rosettes of smooth, velvety leaves, true, with a mild, sweet taste that adds a gourmet touch to both salads and sandwiches. Harvest baby leaves at just 33 days, or wait to harvest the entire head around 60, which is what I have done. Our blend includes both red and green varieties. You get a thousand seeds for $3.35. Okay, that's pretty good. Think about if you do three seeds and one whole, and let's say only one of those comes out, that would really be a propagation rate of 333 seeds for $3.35. Um, iceberg lettuce, which I can't stand, is more than a dollar a head. So this is a fantastic little bargain here. Plus, it comes out very well. Okay, so I did taste this, and I have tasted this without any salad dressing at all. I've tasted it with the vein in here, and I have tasted just the tips as well. Um, so the you get at the end of it sort of this creamy profile that is kind of like you just ate a little bit of heavy whipping cream. So I think that's why they call it a butter blend. But to me, it doesn't exactly taste like butter. Um, <clears throat> so what they say here is true. It, it is a creamy butter head blend. Now, what I find weird, because I was trying to identify this, remember that's the whole point of this video. I have looked through Jung's, they have got red. All right, so I've got cantaloupe on this side, the next page starts with kale. There's nothing speckled in here that resembles what's, what has come up here with this blend. So I found that a little bit weird. Okay, so. Then I decided to go to Pine Tree because I have bought a lot of lettuce from Pine Tree and really like them. The closest I could get was this thing called Freckles, which still doesn't really look like it because that looks more splotchy. And this really looks more than Freckles to me. I don't know. Could be totally and completely wrong. Don't know. You guys let me know. Okay, so then I looked in Johnny's. They didn't have anything like that at all. Now I'm at Baker's Creek, which is one of the most beautiful, aesthetically pleasing seed catalogs, especially if you're a seed geek like I am, that I have ever seen. And their packets are just as gorgeous, you guys. So this is the other one. But I will say with them, they don't always give me the information that I'm looking for. So there is a drawback. Everything always has a positive and a negative. This is the closest thing I could find in here. And that really does look speckled, but you don't have like a large area like this is maybe it's just because it's a larger leaf I don't know you guys are gonna have to help me with this but anyway it's an old Austrian uh, Austrian heirloom and they're talking about speckled like a trout which yeah that does look like okay side note has anybody ever grown this outrageous lettuce it says that it's amazingly red and flavorful salads Okay, but to me, sometimes red lettuce can kind of have a harsh taste. 
but it does say down here that it has a sweet flavor for any salads. So I wanna know, comment below, if you've ever grown this, if it is sweet, would it be worthy for me to grow? Back to the original question. Do you guys know what this is? Hey guys, so I wanted to check this out and how these leaves hold up under some good salad dressing. I do water this down. I don't like a thick dressing, but this tastes so good. It has a really mild, almost perfect taste to it. And this leaf, if you can see that, the side of that, is about the same consistency as this iceberg lettuce is. Let me get a little bit closer. Okay. Now, I this is the one I have not dressed. And you can see, now don't you think this is just about as pretty as the Baker's Creek? But anyway, I have grown some of my own beets here and snow peas, which is the snowbird snow peas, which is a dwarf variety. I have a video on that as well. The egg goes fantastic with this lettuce. Let's put a little lunch meat on here. Now, I will say this is Pine Tree's loose leaf lettuce mix. And I'll flash a picture up what this looks like actually growing. This has been in here maybe two days and you can see it's starting to get a little limp. Even when it's fresh and you put uh, this salad dressing on it, it's almost too heavy. It shrinks, it dissipates, it disappears, it folds under the pressure. This is a great lettuce and that's really why I wanna know what is the name of this lettuce, you guys? And I find it very peculiar that Jung's will include this in a mix, but not sell it separately. Why do you think that is?